Hello guys, King of Bohemia here with another and maybe last of our Empire Total Wars Total War, what the hell? Sweden campaign, our Viking Sweden campaign. Last time we here to each, each other, so maybe you saw me almost my gameplay. Well, I left when Denmark attacked Stockholm and as you know our goal was to raid England and go back to our wives at Stockholm so we need to hold Stockholm. As you can see they, they, there's a balance of power a little bit in favor of Denmark but I think it doesn't matter really in the siege battle because even with three units of flying infantry I think I would be able to defend the fortress because it's... I don't think it's easy but it's easier to fight behind the walls especially if you get bayonets so mostly AI will just climb the walls and attack you, so even though it's better you need, it can and mostly will lose to your weaker units even though they are stronger because of the bayonets, it really makes the difference. Let's see what we will do. Can we hide somewhere? No. He got artillery, so I want to use my cavalry against the artillery. But yeah, I don't think I will do more changes. Okay, let's see their army. They got regiment of cars, that's really not a problem. They got a uh, line infantry. I think they got a lot of line infantry. And here they are. The only problem is the artillery. And it's destroying most far too far too I got the arms and I don't really care for them. But I will move them a little bit. I want them to be lost in this tragedy. Yeah, I think I will fast forward it a little bit. Militia, militia, yeah. My militia can demolish their militia, I think. Let's see if they got bayonets. Oh, this is food infantry, and they don't have bayonets, so I think we are good. Yeah, I think 
lagi ya. I just wanted to get rid of this artillery, really Yeah. 
stuff and I think they won't move those units. Otto, they are destroying some of my walls. I'll just move those guys downstairs. I think they will attack me with those units, so I will just wait and see you at the end of the battle. Because when the time is up and I'm not going after them because I don't want to lose my units to their artillery, are, there, are they there? I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to lose my men, so I will just pass forward to the end and see you at the end. Because they will be just shooting at the walls and they are even wavering right now and they don't have infantry to fight. So, see ya. Victory! Yeah, as I predicted. See, they... The balance power was way into their favor. So if I auto resolved, I would lo lose. But you see, Ulrich Blomquist did a really great job, and we destroyed Denmark. In the battle, they Let's also they, knew they break one of the walls, broke one of the walls with the artillery, but they didn't go through it. And I attacked with my cavalry You have recruited on their so many so units, your treasury is buckling under you the weight of their upkeep. Anything. Capturing new regions would spread the costs, as well as putting the men to good use. Raising taxes will also help, although that also increases the chances of insurrection at home. Alternatively, well, now just simply disband any unnecessary units. Yeah, and I will go back home. Oh, upgrade them. Yeah, we don't have much money left. But that doesn't matter now. Because we have just completed London. I think it's thanks to us that new nation arises. United States, independence. Oh, they got all of the 13 colonies. Yeah, that's because we destroyed England. Yeah, England, Rupert's land. Yeah, that's some rebels. So, yeah, England. Is no more. <laughs> we just destroyed the United Kingdom. Well, I have never wanted this, of course. Okay, I think I want to be friends with them. Like, what? We have to and you are turning us away? Outrageous. Outrageous. And we will wait one more turn. Oh, I just realized that their navy is gone. Because there is no Great Britain anymore, there is n there are no no units left. Like in Rome 2, when you destroy a nation and they still have an army, they got a very much restriction, but it's still there that army, and they can regain their power by uh, by conquering some land. But in Empire, when you destroy a country, even if they had the biggest army in the world, they perish, which is 
Yeah, I think that's great for us because now there is no one who could stay in our way on the sea. Like, I have to see with who, whom we are in war. Like, if it's Spain or something like that, that would be bad because they had they have great navy, but. I think Denmark doesn't have any ships and same with Poland and Russia or oh, Russia is far away I think they have ships on the other side of the Europe so okay I think I called it yeah I called it so definitely Denmark has ships yeah well, it's just trade ships. Should I try it? Like, I'm, I'm really bad with the ships, but I know trade ships in Rome are nothing. They are really crappy. But I don't know in the Empire. I, I don't play much navy battles. It's nothing for me. I like the land battles the most even the siege battles even in Rome it's nothing for me really yeah I think I will fast forward it because everything is so long But their crew is nothing. I know you have to like use those buttons and shoot yourself. I think that's great. But I am I am really not.
maybe I should have done this even before. <laughs> no. Okay, I should. Only five men is fighting right here for this big ship. Oh, Billy Boy, oh, Billy Boy, I love you so. And there they are leaving. They left to the sunset and never came back. But the stories, they are told for the thousands of years about the close defeat at this. Well, as I was saying, I am not good at navy battles. But I haven't lost a single ship. I think that's an accomplishment. Yeah. I will definitely lose ship now. Whoa, they, they lost two ships. Yeah, I really shouldn't play it. Surprise attack! Yeah, I was planning it, you know. Just chilling there. You thought I'm doing nothing, that I have no turns left? You were wrong because I was waiting for the Denmark. <laughs> the ruling classes have written a letter of demands to your national leader as they are yeah, unhappy with the current I government. Really doesn't matter. Failure to comply no, will lead to I an won't. organized rebellion against you. Acquiescence at this stage could lead to further demands. Where exactly will you draw the line? Yeah, I can finally move this general there. Order. I can destroy what's left Fagen of those guys. What? From over. Redskop. Oh, I will go back. Marsh. Well, I need to... Okay. I need to make some ships. Because I can't leave. I have to wait some more turns. Okay. I will now cut it because I think nothing will happen. And... I will see you when I have ships. So, see ya! And we are here, standing, still standing, with a little rebellion here. Which is not something we, we couldn't expect. Well, we are just raiding, after all. So, because we have ships now, yeah, and in the between nothing happens. It was like two turns. No one started a war with us, which is like changing a little bit. No battle. Yeah, we had like we had one ship right here, and Russia with the help of. Denmark, they destroyed it completely. No one is here. I will just take it. Okay, okay. I. Maybe I shouldn't expect that. But I didn't. But. Yeah, they are screwed. Well, anyway. Now we can do the thing we want. We will destroy, destroy everything. We will plunder England. It's valuing. 
getting rid of those modern things and we don't need like observatory or admiral thing yeah there will be like nothing but what I am glad is that there is a rebellion I hope they won't attack us because I will I would destroy them and it's good because when I leave they will take to London and England will rise again which is good I think okay so one more turn I should repair Sweden yeah, okay No one else starts a war with us. We need to get home safe. Like, I think I will take it through Norway. Like, they have no army there. Yeah, you see, they got only citizens, which is not strong unit. So, I think I will go through there. I will secure Norway and Sweden with that way and then I will go to Stockholm so our soldiers could see their families what they just went around me what is my arm infected or something you don't even consider them as opponents what the hell think they got COVID or something and instead of 2 meters it's like 12 kilometers away from them yeah I think there will be a war between Ireland and England but I don't care I personally don't care because I got my value bus so there is unused land suitable for farming in this region building farms here will right. help the population to grow over oh. time and produce trade That's income I don't need. okay guys we are leaving Marsh. we are finally leaving Skeppsorder mottagna. Vi ansluter oss till flottan, befälhavare. Skeppsorder mottagna. Bye, England. See you next year. Well, not next year, but next time. Until next time. I like how nothing is there. Just two lonely sheep. We did a good thing for our people. Yeah, and Denmark is so, so screwed. I will have my range in this life or another. I will go back. Okay. This army is good, yeah. What Denmark have? Yeah. Sure, pretty strong. I hope they won't attack us before I I get home.
Yeah, I'm glad I didn't destroy England because of the rebellion they can regain their power because when I destroyed them USA just started their rule at the east side of America so I'm glad that they will have England and I think they will be in war with Ireland so they will they will take back Edinburgh for sure well and my Vikings are finally going home that's great it's nice to see that your soldiers who suffered are going home. Well, I'm glad that I got the ships. It's I thought that they would destroy me on my way and hold my army because your army is hopeless when you when you come from when you get them on board so I'm really glad that it didn't happen like you can have only one ship and 20 units there is a port there in this region that has not yet been developed select the type of port to construct here a fishing port will help your population grow a trade yeah, port will provide an income from overseas trade a naval port back. allows you the construction of warships you have to start from the beginning yeah and and i'm going to take order right now on my way can surrender. Belägringen är skingrad! I will repair that. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. Skepps order mottagna! I think there will be no one. But yeah. yeah, we are finally going home. I wonder if I'm at war with Great Britain anymore because they were destroyed obviously. I I will look at that, but we are coming to an end of this series, a really short series in the end, three episodes, and I think it was fun, it was refreshing, not playing the main objective of, of the Empire 1 game, but making your own objectives, I think you should do that too, like you want to conquer Europe, conquer only Europe. You want to leave behind Europe and conquer America because there are a lot of Indian tribes, so do it. Like it's it's good to make your own objectives because it's something different. Like it's like a story then. I wonder if Russia will attack me. Poland and Russia, they started the war with me, Poland. They didn't even attack me. And Russia, they are still mad, I don't know why. Because I didn't trade their two useless lands for my two useless lands. Yeah. Ireland. Yeah, I'm glad I helped three nations rise, one rise again, Great Britain, but Ireland rises 
right after m my rain and I am something like a Jesus right now for them for sure. and construction Okay, they, there is only one more turn to get the Stockholm, so I think I, we can agree on that our objective was a success. We raised an army, we fought against England, we conquered England, we burned England, then look there constructing everything again. We conquered England and we left England in one piece. All of our 20 units are back alive. All of those men are going to be with their wives. Some of them was were replaced, so I hope their wives don't notice it, but yeah, that was a success. I hope to enjoy this this short story of the modern time Vikings fighting for the valuables and the jewelries and coins and everything at the England just like Ragnar Lodbrok. This Carl Gustav Amflet alias Ragnar Lodbrok he he did his job. We are going here and yeah, we don't have Finland, which was a loss, but nothing serious. Let's see, Great Britain, yeah, they are hostile. They are still hostile. Where, where they got like three allies? I don't have even one. Everyone is unfriendly to us, like. Sweden is so popular these days, but in those days they were just Vikings. <sighs> what can we do? Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave that like button and you can even leave a comment what you want next. See you next time.